Hey guys, Buck1590 here, coming to you with another action figure review. This time we're looking at the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star series, Super Saiyan Bardock. I believe this is from series 18. You can see the picture of Super Saiyan Bardock right there, which is pretty much a shot of Goku, I think, right? They just added a little um, cut on his face. They didn't give him the bandana, though. Which is kind of weird, but yeah. So here we have it. This was from series 18, as you can tell right here. You had Super Saiyan Vegito, Super Saiyan Bardock, Janemba, and of course, in series 17, was base form Goku, base form Vegeta, base form Gotenks, which we got this first before we got these, which is weird. But yeah, I've just been sitting on this figure for a while. I got this, I think, in December, or I wanna say in January of 2021. So I finally found some time and I'm going to be reviewing this figure now. So to do some comparison, we have Super Saiyan Bardock with the original base form Bardock. So I wanted to see if there was any difference between the Super Saiyan version of Bardock and the regular version of Bardock, but I don't seem to see any light differences in the, in the shading because I know with some of the figures, uh, base form um, Vegito, and I believe also uh, some of the Goku figures as well. They vary on their Super Saiyan level. So if it's Super Saiyan Blue, it's a little bit darker shading on the body. If it's Super Saiyan Regular, you know, like the yellow hair, it's like some light shading on the body. But I don't see any distinct difference between these two. They're pretty much the same figure, but you know, one is Super Saiyan and the other one is not. There is some skin tone differences I can see now. I don't know if you guys can see that well on the camera here. This Goku is a little bit tanner. Uh, Bardock, I mean. This Bardock's a little bit tanner. This Bardock is a little bit lighter skinned. I don't know if that was intentional or not. But again, that's essentially the same figure, just different coloring on his body. And well, now he's Super Saiyan. This one was base form. So yeah, let's take a look at the articulation for this Bardock figure. I keep saying Goku, I don't know why I keep saying Goku. So you can see he has a really nice scar right there on the cheek. Now we can take a look at that. I don't know why that's coming up on the camera, but he's got the green eyes. He's got the bandana going over his hair. You don't see it all over his hair, but they did add the hair, uh, the bandana over the hair on the back part, so that's pretty neat. The armor looks nice. It's a little bit more uh, highlighter yellow than I would want it to be. I don't think it was this this greenish lime or highlighted yellow in the movie. Uh, I believe this is from that one movie. I don't know if it came out dubbed in English here, but it's in, it's in Japanese. Look it up. That's when... Uh, Super Saiyan Bardock fights Frieza's ancestor, Chill, Lord Chill, something like that. So yeah, that's where this figure's from. But he looks really nice. I mean, again, it's the same figure as the Bardock one, but lighter skin. And of course, it's now Super Saiyan, as opposed to not being Super Saiyan. So pretty much the same articulation as most Dragon Star figures. The shoulders go in and out, forward and back. Uh, for mine, his double jointed elbows are a little bit loose, but I don't mind that, I guess. It's better than it being like really tight and difficult to maneuver. Uh, articulation here in the hands. I believe they stopped sculpting the fingernails on the hands, mainly so they can reuse them for the, the glove versions of the hands of for the figures. Um, again, not liking how they don't, they don't accentuate the his little sleeve, his arm sleeve, all the way to the part of his hand. You see here, it can kind of go all the way to its hand. It doesn't do that here. Same with the boots. I wish, the, you know, on the boot, the little red goes all the way down to his foot. It doesn't do that with the figure. It just kind of stops right there. And that's it. But, eh, I'm not complaining. Again, these are like... $20 Dragon Star figures. You know, if you're going for like super detailed and the best articulation, obviously you're gonna get uh, 
SH fig warts. But yeah, this is pretty decent for what you're paying. So again, these little flaps, they're a little bit rubbery, way better than the, the hard plastic that's on the Broly figures, you know? Mine does come with this weird little white chipping thing on the side. I don't know what this is. Pretty sure I can like chip it off maybe, I don't know, not exactly sure. Some of the figures come with that. Uh, double jointed knees. And you can see the double jointed knees here uh, instead of the other figures where you know they have the pants so you can't really see the double jointed knees and of course the leg can move up and down eh, side to side but not like ankle rockers type of thing unless you can oh okay well i don't know this one i just started moving it strange anyway so that's the super saiyan bardock for you guys right there we can do some size comparisons. As always, I'm gonna bring up my NECA Terminator figure, which obviously towers over this Bardock figure, and my Lightning Collection Black Ranger, Dragon Shield Black Ranger, right? Whoops, that's not supposed to be canon. Okay, but anyway. You can see how he's a little bit shorter than uh, the Black Ranger. From the lightning collection and he's definitely smaller than my terminator figure but that's just how it goes i'm guessing let's see if i can back them up a little bit to give him more space yeah he's definitely a little bit smaller than my terminator and he's only like maybe an inch smaller than my black ranger from the lightning collection so yeah guys, that's it for this review. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you find it very informative, whether you're gonna pick up this figure or not, I believe some of the GameStop still have these. And online and other stores, they might still have some of these available as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys next time.